So the exam is the most difficult part of data annotation, that and maintaining your account. The exam consists, especially, so I only do the, like the English, the grammar part, training the AI bots. I don't do anything with coding. That's not something that I personally am familiar with. I'd like to get into that, but right now it's not something that I have the time for personally. But the testing was very thorough, very difficult. It consisted a lot of... The testing consisted a lot of consisted of a lot of grammar questions, um, a lot of English stuff, stuff that you would see on traditional English tests. Some of it was multiple choice, some of it was fill in the blanks. And then the last portion was a creative writing portion, which was very challenging. And then if you don't pass this part, then you don't get into data annotation and there is no redo. And I can't get into the specifics of the exam. That's not something that we're allowed going over. And data annotation is very, very specific about ethics. And that's something also that I have always had instilled in me is ethics, 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 integrity, integrity, integrity. So if you do get onto the platform, um, which it can take a couple weeks, even months to hear back from them, there are different qualifications that you're able to take to see what projects that you qualify for. And you report your own time for these projects as you're going through. And some of the biggest things that I see people get kicked off for is not properly reporting their time, over reporting their time, or using other AI sources to try to complete these projects, which is a big no-no and an ethics violation or having multiple accounts, which is also a big no-no. If you try to sign up once, you can't do it again. Also an ethics integrity violation, a violation of the codes, and you will get kicked off of the platform. Now, as far as the work is concerned, like I said, the more projects that you qualify for, the more work that you're obviously gonna have. I have only had two times where the work has been very um, sparse, and right now is one of those times, and it's usually as some projects are shutting down and new projects are coming up. But I've personally never had any issues with data annotation and it's something that I've loved doing. Um, it's very challenging in itself, but it's easy in the sense of I don't have a boss. I don't have someone constantly looking over my shoulder. I don't have someone that I have to question their ethics, their values, their integrity. And I get to work whenever I want to work, how many hours that I want to work. And that's something that works for me and my schedule, especially since I've become a stay-at-home mom with my two-year-old, 13-year-old, and my 18-year-old. So to me, that makes it easy because it fits into my life and my schedule. But they do have Slack channels, um, chat channels, places where you can ask questions. They're very thorough in their instructions, in their guidebooks. Um, so it's not like they leave you out there to, to dry. Like they are very thorough and there's always someone to contact. The, like I said, the work is challenging, but at the same time, it's very rewarding. And I feel like I'm going to have job security in the future. Um, and it's, it's just very interesting work. It's something that I've been into for a very long time. Um, I have my master's degree in Homeland Security with a concentration in intelligence studies. So it's kind of right down my, so it's kind of right down my alley. But the biggest thing is like no cheating. Don't use outside sources. You can use stuff like Grammarly. That's perfectly fine. But no other AI apps. You can't use the AI portion of Grammarly. Um, but if you do choose to go that route, good luck. Just give it your best, take your time, and crush it. Like I said, it can take weeks to hear back, but it's definitely worth it. I love it.